Did trying to keep everything under control ever make you tired? Some events, the very effort to control too much, is what stops us from achieving success and happiness. Warren Buffett, a billionaire investor, once said, when it comes to sacrifice, I think immediately of time because it's the only thing no one can power. I can buy anything I want, but fundamentally, I cannot power time. They not only give up some daily activities, but they also focus their time and effort on the things that really matter. This not only helps them achieve their goals, but it also makes space for good things to happen naturally. To learn more about this art, join us on this journey today. We'll look at how to apply the don't force it principle to all facets of life, including work, relationships, and even ourselves in this video. Join us by accepting the challenge of watching the video all the way to the end and not missing a single principle. You can understand how to let life flow naturally without pushing or rushing by using just one of the following five principles. Leave a comment stating, I accept the challenge and will not give up. If you're ready to accept this challenge. Rule no. 1. Holding on to harmful things will make your pain worse. Having a healthy lifestyle, both physically and mentally, is important in this life. Stoicism a school of thought that promotes acceptance and non-resistance to things we cannot change is one philosophy that offers great mental strength. It leads to peace and effective emotional control, especially when it comes to letting go of harmful elements. Stoicism not only frees us from things that aren't important, but it also shows us the way to a happier, more fulfilling life. Consider that you have put a lot of passion and effort into a hobby, project, or relationship. At first, everything appears to be going as planned and beginning to develop positively. Over time, you realize that things aren't going as planned. The project doesn't produce results, the relationship gets tense, and the hobby stops being fun. You may feel stuck, tired, and let down at this point. In this situation, what would Stoic philosophy say? People tell you to face the truth with honesty and courage and let go. This does not imply failure, but rather that you are opening up a new space for new possibilities and joys. Emperor Marcus Aurelius and Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. It's never too late to give up a bad habit, a relationship that doesn't work, or a project that doesn't fit anymore. Consider the story of Emma a designer who spent many years working diligently to develop a product line she fervently believed in. The project took a lot of Emma's time and money, and she put her creativity into every part of it, from the first designs to the final marketing plans. Even though she worked hard on it, and there was a lot of excitement around the launch, the product line did not connect with her target audience in the end. Feedback wasn't as good as she had hoped, and sales were slow. Emma was up all night long, struggling with the thought that her project might not ever be as successful as she had imagined. Her art was breaking at the thought of abandoning something she had put so much effort into. Emma knew in her heart that putting more time and money into a project that wasn't working would only make her feel worse and drain her creativity. Emma made the difficult decision to discontinue this product line after much reflection and several emotional conversations with her advisors and coworkers. Although it was a difficult decision, she came to realize that it was necessary to make room for new chances. Emma made a big decision that changed her focus and energy to better projects that fit with current market trends and consumer tastes. As Emma started new businesses, she felt like she had a purpose and some excitement again. She began coming up with new product ideas that worked better. People liked these ideas right away and gave them good reviews. This change not only gave her career a new lease on life, but it also gave her faith in her ability to adapt and do well even when things are hard. Emma's story shows that abandoning a failed project can sometimes open the door to new beginnings, despite how difficult it may be. It can be viewed as a strategic turn that will lead to greater career success rather than as the end. Her story is a testament to the stoic idea that sometimes the strength of time lies not in enduring the unbearable, 
but in having the guts to start over with a clear head and renewed spirit. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, once said, It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Every failure and success can serve as stepping stones to later success and happiness if we learn from it and apply the lessons learned. Giving up is not only a part of life, but also an art in conclusion. We will find the freedom and strength to continue our journey in a more meaningful way when we understand the value of giving up in the right circumstances. You need to be brave to face and accept letting go of things that are no longer helpful to your life and goals. That is the first step toward opening up a happier and more promising future. Help each other grow. Have you ever had to give up something that was particularly difficult? How did that bring you any lessons? Is giving up always a bad decision? Or could it bring you new opportunities, in your opinion? Let other people learn from your experiences below. Second rule, get over your fear of never feeling happy again. You might be more likely to follow orders and give up your rights as a citizen if you are given vague promises of safety. You might give less and be less willing to take risks as a worker. Because you view the future through a lens of fear, you tend to lean toward safety in your personal life and open yourself up to fewer new possibilities. It's not smart to live this way. These worries aren't silly. It's clear that our society is in a dangerous and unstable time, and careless actions or lack of interest can ruin our children's future. But the problem is that fear changes the way you see things. They focus on the bad things, exaggerate possible dangers, give you different points of view, and make you give up your values because you need to survive right away. Unnamed fear impairs your vision, shuts down your intuition and normal sensory reflexes, and promotes aggressive behavior. Simply put, living will lose its life if fear is not recognized and dealt with through mindfulness. Fear drains life energy as the body tenses and the art closes in preparation for what is to come. The fear of losing happiness can also rob us of freedom and creativity in how we live. A different way of thinking is offered by Stoic philosophy, which encourages a disciplined and practical way of life. Stoicism tells us to face reality with calm and thought instead of living in fear and passively accepting what will happen. To understand how Stoic practices can help us deal with this fear, we need to think about what happiness means to us and how we try to find it. Seneca, one of the great Stoic philosophers, once said, We suffer more in imagination than in reality. This message reminds us that fear is often a result of exaggerated situations rather than the truth. Focusing on what we can control, our reactions and attitudes toward events that happen, is a key component of the Stoic philosophy. You begin to let go as you learn to understand that the majority of what you fear cannot or doesn't need to be controlled. Letting go is not the same as giving up. It is the decision to not let fear control your life. Think about a relationship that has lasted for years. At first, everything seemed great, and you and your partner couldn't be separated. The initial joy and connection, however, gradually subsided over time. There were fewer and fewer happy times as the arguments got worse. You realize that this relationship doesn't bring you peace and joy like it used to, no matter how hard you try. You feel a deep fear that you will never find anyone else who understands you like they do when you are faced with this situation. After much reflection, you decide not to try to save this relationship at all costs. You choose to chill out and accept that things have changed. This relationship may have served its purpose in your life. You no longer have to protect and maintain something that doesn't fit because you made this hard decision. Your heart is now open to new relationships instead of trying to keep things the same. You soon begin to meet new people who bring a genuine and healthier sense of connection, as well as people who understand you in ways you didn't expect. You have created more space in your life for new good things to emerge by accepting change rather than resisting it. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, said, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This shows that we can achieve a happy and meaningful life regardless of the circumstances if we cultivate positive thoughts and accept thought as it is. We open up possibilities for new positive outcomes when we don't let fear cloud our vision 
and stop trying to make things happen our way. Stoicism has taught us for thousands of years that by avoiding fear and not forcing others to do what you want, we can experience happiness in any situation. In a similar situation, have you ever felt stuck? Talk about the benefits you didn't expect from making the decision to learn to let go. Third rule, let go of things that aren't good for you. We've all probably felt pain in our bodies or our minds at some point in our lives. The difference is that some people hold on to painful experiences more tightly than others, making it harder for them to move on. It's normal to struggle and reflect on your experiences, but there comes a time when you need to stop dwelling on what you can't change and start focusing on what you can, here and now, and in the future. It might sound easy, but letting go is one of the hardest things to do. Stoic philosophers think that we can achieve inner freedom and true happiness by controlling how we react to difficult situations. This understanding paves the way for the art of letting go, not giving up on goals, but letting go of what does not belong to us. Epictetus taught this very clearly. It is not things in themselves that trouble us, but our opinions of things. Letting go does not entail abandoning all efforts or not caring about life. According to Stoic philosophy, letting go is a sign of wisdom and self-understanding. Mark Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, once said, you have the power to change your story at any moment. This means that each of us has the power to change our lives by changing how we view and react to the events that happen around us. When Anna, a young businesswoman, started an art project with a friend, she was initially excited about it. Not only did they need to put money into this project, but they also needed to give their time and energy. Anna put her heart and soul into their idea and partnership, hoping that it would grow into a successful and important brand. As the months went by, each quarter brought a bad business report. The results didn't get better despite trying different tactics and changing how they engage with customers. Anna began to feel like she was fighting in the dark as the project began to stall and the outcomes kept being disappointing. Unsure of how to turn the situation around, she became tired and dejected. Anna turned to a book on Stoic philosophy, a gift from the friend she had started the business with. During those long restless nights, she began reading and gradually came to realize that while she could not control the outcomes of her project, she could control how she dealt with them. She learned to accept that not every effort results in success in the way one hopes. Anna decided to let the project go after a lot of reflection. For her to free herself from constant pressure and stress, she had to make a difficult decision. In order to feel more in control and make a real difference, she changed careers to work in a field she was truly passionate about, health and beauty. With this change, Anna not only found peace but also achieved success by putting stoic lessons into practice. Control what you can, let go of what you can't. She began a new journey with renewed faith and confidence as a result of discovering her inner strength. Stoic philosophy claims that letting go is an art form in addition to being a necessary life skill. We truly begin the path to freedom and happiness when we learn to accept that not everything is ours and that not all outcomes are within our control. Don't forget that timing is everything. What you deserve will come to you when you're ready. You will find yourself lighter and more free to embrace the good things coming your way if you allow yourself to open your heart and let go of unnecessary burdens each day, each moment. Please like and share this video with your friends and family if you find value in Anna's story and the lessons from Stoic philosophy that we shared. This not only helps them find peace and a new direction in life, but it also supports our channel in producing more helpful content to help people grow every day. No matter how difficult it may be, accept the truth. Let's turn to the story of Durek, a vivacious worker in the id industry, before we go into more detail about principle number four. Derek used to have a passion for his job, working hard to develop new applications and enhance existing ones. He was proud to be an important part of the team whose creativity and technical know-how made a big difference. Derek began to feel a change in the work environment, though over time. 
He saw that his work wasn't being valued as much as it used to be. When there was success, the recognition he received was minimal or non-existent. His ideas were frequently ignored in meetings. In the early years, every successful project was recognized. But this was very different. Derek couldn't help but feel left out despite his efforts to adapt. He began working harder in the hopes of catching the attention of his superiors and reaffirming his value to the company. Unfortunately, his efforts did not lead to a change in the leadership's attitude or recognition. Derek had to face a difficult decision eventually. In search of a new work environment where he could be more valued, he decided to leave the job he had once been passionate about. This decision was difficult, but it was necessary for him to grow both personally and professionally. Derek understood that in order to develop, he needed a setting where his efforts and skills were recognized and encouraged. A turning point in his professional life, his decision to leave opened up a new opportunity for career development and the pursuit of happiness at work. Through Derek's story, we learn that some people automatically ignore the darker aspects and negative experiences they encounter because they are used to seeing life through rose-colored glasses. To achieve true happiness, though, you need to take off those glasses and accept the world as it takes on. With its share of joys and frustrations, life is inherently flawed. The harsh realities of life continue, no matter how hard you try to hide them. You can always live in joy if you accept that you can't get everything you want or make everyone happy. We're taught that to be happy. Focusing on what makes us happy will help us avoid negativity. Stoic philosophy, on the other hand, challenges us to face and accept difficult truths, even if they hurt. This is not a suggestion to make your own life miserable. It's just a reminder of how powerful acceptance can be. Stoicism teaches us to let go of the negative emotions that these truths bring when faced with an unchangeable reality, such as loss, failure, or even rejection by others. This doesn't mean we should hide our feelings. It just means we shouldn't let them take over and control our lives. Accepting reality not only frees us from illusions, but also allows us to face reality bravely and be better prepared for challenges in the future. Accepting that something is no longer appropriate or unchangeable allows us to stop wasting time and energy on it and instead focus on new relationships and goals that will benefit our lives. There is both an end and a new beginning when you let go of something. In order to make room for new and better things, we have to let go of a relationship, a job, or a belief that is no longer helpful. Like Derek, we can find happiness and freedom in a brand new area we haven't been to before. Accepting the truth, no matter how difficult, is the first step not only to free oneself from unneeded burdens, but also to open a new path towards true freedom and happiness. You can turn the truth into a force for positive change and profound personal growth when you can recognize and accept it. Always remember that life is a journey that we can choose to face calmly and wisely. Are you ready to face the difficult truths in your life and accept them? Say I'm ready in the comments below this video. The fifth rule is that when one door shuts, another one opens. It was like any other day for Bernie Marcus, 49, who came to work at the company with his usual briefcase. He had worked hard for more than 20 years and had finally earned a spot as a business manager. Similar to today, all he needed to do to retire comfortably and start receiving his pension was to continue making contributions for an additional 11 years. He never imagined that day would be his last day of work there, though. You're fired. That made Bernie Marcus wonder, why? What did I do wrong? No, you did nothing wrong. It's just that the company is developing very slowly and the board has decided to lay off some staff, that's all. Bernie Marcus had gone from being a manager to being one of many people who were unemployed in the city. He was forced to look for a new source of income due to the high cost of living and other significant expenses. During this time, he often went to Los Angeles and sat for hours in a roadside cafe to get away from his feelings of boredom, confusion, and mental stress. One day, he ran into an old friend, Arthur Blank, who used to work with him and was a manager at the same company but had been fired. They consoled one another and discussed the future. 
Hey, why don't we start our own business? Bernie Marcus was fired up by this idea, which brought back his old passions and dreams. They therefore intended to launch a company that would offer construction tools and services. The two unemployed former managers developed a plan for the company with the slogan lowest prices, best service right there in this cafe. This company went on to become Home Depot, a well-known name in the US and around the world for its home furnishings. Bernie Marcus had taken 20 years to grow the company from a small little known company to a Fortune 500 company with 775 stores, 150,000 employees, and $30 billion in annual sales, gradually becoming a well-known name in the retail industry around the world. The journey of life is long, and the unknown future is always there. When one door closes, move on without regret. As the saying goes, when God closes one door, he opens another. There is always more than one door open at any given time. All you have to do is find it and give it a try. This saying takes on a deeper meaning in the context of Stoic philosophy, teaching us about acceptance, adaptation, and not forcibly resisting inevitable change. In all situations, Stoic philosophers such as Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius believed in acceptance and self-control. They thought that how we react to things is more important than what happens to us. We are encouraged to continue looking and opening new doors when one door closes, rather than feeling hopeless and trapped. This advice is not only spiritual, but also a practical way to find meaning in life and continue to grow. Accept the things that fate ties you to and love the people that fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. This is an essential part of Stoic philosophy, helping us face failure and adversity not only with fortitude, but also with gratitude. Being calm and in control does not mean giving up. Rather, it means actively accepting life with all of its ups and downs. Let's look at Stoic philosophy and the art of letting things happen naturally without forcing them to. You should have learned how to apply the principle of non-attachment to your daily life through this video, helping you face challenges calmly and effectively. What advantages do you find from these Stoic principles? Here are some comments where you can share your thoughts and experiences. If you like this video, please click the like button and share it with friends you think would also benefit from these lessons. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any videos that come out. We always try to give you deep and useful content to help you grow spiritually and personally. Continue your journey in pursuing the Stoic philosophy for self-improvement by watching the videos that are displayed at the end of this one. Let's continue to learn more about this fascinating philosophy of life together. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.